Hello and welcome back. During this pandemic era, due to recession and economical crisis, home security is must as there are increased cases of theft around the world. So, in order to be secure and to avoid such risks, I will design a cheap transistor-based electronic lock which can be used everywhere from houses to offices and cost effective as well. So, let's start with the build. To start with, we will need around 7 transistors to make a 3 digit locking system. Firstly, we will divide it into 3 sections. Now let's see the first section. If we push the switch S1 by turning it on, the base of transistor Q1 turns on, which turns the base of transistor Q2 on and charges the capacitor C1. Now when the switch turns off, the capacitor discharges via a discharging resistor R1 of 120 kilo ohm by supplying enough voltage at the base of Q1 to keep it or maintain it in its on state until the capacitor entirely discharges. Let's do a little experiment on discharging of capacitors. If we put a 100 kilo ohm resistor, the time period until which the base of transistor remains on is around 8 to 10 seconds. As you can see on the timer, the capacitor can hold charge until 8 to 10 seconds because the value of resistance is quite high. Now if we put a discharging resistor of 10 kilo ohm instead of 100 kilo ohm, the capacitor almost discharges in less than a minute because the value of discharging resistor is quite low. Finally, if we put a discharging resistor of 220 kilo ohm, the time period until which the base of transistor remains on rises to about 20 seconds. Now instead of switch, we will use a 4x4 hex keyboard which is perfect replacement for switches because the lock opener now has much more chances of failure as he has to choose from 16 keys instead of the 4 puny switches. Now let's understand how you can change the lock password by connecting it to different keys of the hex keyboard. Initially the hex keyboard has 16 keys or 16 membrane switches which are 4 rows and 4 columns. Each switch has a common row and a different column or a different row and a common column. For example, if you want to select the first digit of your password as 3, so you have to connect one wire to the orange pin which acts as the row and it is pin number 9 and the other one to the pin number 2 which acts as a column. So you can see you get 3 when you connect both of them. And moving on to the second and the third section, they are basically the replica of first section. But one thing, they can only be operated when the first key or pass key is correct, as the emitter of Q2 is connected as the supply for the transistors of the second section. Which means the supply can only be reached to the second section when the first section is on. And the third section is also similar which means when first section and second section are on, then only the third section can be operated. So this is quite secure lock. Not to reveal the password, but anyways I will change it later. Better do not try to break my door lock. Okay, so you can see the password is 51C. When you type 51C, the LED triggers or turns on, which means the door is open. And after a few seconds, when the LED turns off, it means the door is closed. Final touch to this amazing gadget is to add a solenoid lock to it. So instead of LED, we will use a solenoid lock in the final installation. Now when you type any other password or any other switch is pushed, the door won't open as it has 3 layers of security as well as it is also cheap. So all in all, this project or this 
this model is completely reliable first of all thanks for watching and what are you waiting for hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more videos like this